Hi guys, in this video we're going to be opening up an Inku crate for the month of September. I want to say thank you to Inku Crate for sending this to me for free to review. Use the code MARIE3 to save $3 off your first Inku Crate. The first thing is this set of colorful flake stickers. I feel like you can never have enough flake stickers. These ones have a little bit of a gold finish and they're kind of shiny so these would be really nice for sealing envelopes with. It just looks like a seal to me. But you can also use them to decorate your school supplies like notebooks. My kids decorated all of their plain marble composition books with some really cute Sanrio stickers. So I think these would be great for adding a fun pop of color to some of your plainer notebooks, folders, or composition books. Can you guys guess what this is? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So actually when I went to Japan, I had purchased this exact same item for my daughter and she broke it so it was perfect that we got another one. My kids use this as a little bento box for their dolls and it's so perfect. When you look underneath the tray, it's actually a pencil sharpener. So the pencil sharpener portion of our item broke but the kids still use it as a doll toy but Sienna was so happy to get another one of these so I always like it when they include a washi tape in these boxes and I like to see the new designs that they have this one is called a hidden animal washi tape That wrapper was really hard to remove for some reason. So you can get one of three designs in this Inku crate and judging from the photo in the brochure, I think I got the best one, the penguin hidden amongst the milk bottles. Inku crate will often include a cute little pencil and this one is a smoky animal pencil with three monkeys on it and this one looks like it was made in Taiwan but I found out that this is no ordinary pencil Oh It's a white pencil I thought it was just like that Is it a fabric pencil or something? I don't know I wonder if it's a crayon pencil Why is it? Is it a crayon? Kind of feels like one. Interesting. Let's try to write on something dark. So focus. Is this an eraser? Eraser. It's an eraser pencil. So cool, right? Try to erase. Super cool. Super cool. 
Super, super Mecha. Super Mecha. This item is this Click Art capless marker. It's a marker that's in the form of a click pen. And this is by Zebra. It comes in 12 different colors. And this is the peach color. I wish that I had the entire set though. I might have to get it on Amazon. The marker seems like it's really nice quality. It's more of a, a probably a mix between a fine and a medium tip pen. Oh, this next one is probably my favorite item. I love this. It's a little to-do list that's shaped in the shape of a milk carton, and it's so adorable. I love making to-do lists. I find it so satisfying to check things off, and this has a little heart bubble that you can fill in to check off the item. And there's a space to put in your schedule and the date on the top of the notepad. It has a lot of cute little features. And on top of all that, it's a sticky note. You can just stick it on top of your notebook or whatever you're using for the day. Perfect for back to school or just any day, really. You can also use it for journaling as I did at the end of the video. I noticed that Shiba Inus are a common motif in some of the stationery in these Inka Crate boxes. It's a Japanese breed of dog and this one has a bunch of Shiba Inus with lemons. It's kind of a smaller tote bag so it's perfect for my daughter. I have this little shop and I'm not going to carry it around. You have to be smart about it. There's a little pocket in here. Uh -oh. There's a little pocket in here. Just put it in. Get out of the house and go to the park. Last but not least is this Gokuyo Campus notebook. And this one is special because it has a little Pokemon design on the cover. I loved these campus notebooks when I was living in Japan. They're so cheap, they're only a dollar. And the lined paper has these dots throughout the lines so that you can evenly space out your writing. So it's perfect for taking notes and the paper is so buttery soft and smooth. So since this Ingo Crates theme is back to school, I printed out a bunch of back to school pictures from the past few years and we're going to put some of these supplies to use. I'm not going to use everything but there are a few things that I liked. Um, I'm just putting this bento box out because it's cute. I really like the notepad, the washi tape, and those ball stickers. I think they're going to be perfect for doing a little um, scrapbook or journal, whatever you like to call it. These are pictures from when Sienna first started kindergarten in 2016 and she went to a Japanese preschool which is called Yochien. I think that actually means kindergarten but I'm not really sure. One of the videos that I really wanted to make was a video all about Japanese kindergarten because it's really such a thing and when I was sending my daughter here I just wanted a video that explained everything to me I mean every kindergarten is different but the Japanese kindergartens are like really intense and really specific and tend to require a lot of parent involvement so maybe one of these days I'll make that video I did film some stuff for it but I just never put it all together but let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in seeing something about that so I've been using this Tsum Tsum notebook that I got from Daiso Korea and I think I paid about 500 won, no 5,000 won for this, which is the equivalent of, of about 5 US dollars. And it's so cute and I like how it has the little spiral bound thing because the notebooks tend to expand a little bit so I feel like that gives it a little bit of extra space to 
expand when I put all these photos and paper inside of them. This is my little collection of um, cute notepads. A lot of them are from Daiso. And I was just looking for something as kind of a backdrop to my photos. I mean, I like the Chippendale. Is that Chippendale? The Chipmunks? Um, I like the Chipmunks, but I don't want that to be the theme on every single page. So I'm just covering it up with a sticky note. And this is actually a washi tape that I think I got from Inku Crate maybe a while back. I decided to use this Peanuts um, washi tape sticker set. I love this so much. I got it from Daiso Korea and since I have a Peanuts bento on the next page, I'm going to use sort of a Peanuts theme for this journal. I've really been enjoying this process of printing out old photos and looking back on them and using my new cute stationery supplies and also ones that I've accumulated over the past years. Sometimes when I print out albums of things that have, have occurred in the recent past, I don't feel as inspired to put something like this together, but I think by printing out older photos, you kind of get to relive some of these memories, and parents always say this, but it's so crazy how quickly your kids grow up. I mean, this was only, what, five years ago? and my daughter is such a different person now. I mean, she's the same at her core, but now she's eight years old and she's such a big girl. So it's, I think it's really interesting how you can have two kids that come from the same parents. They're both girls. They're so incredibly different. Um, my daughter, Sienna, was really looking forward to going to school and one of the things I did to kind of prepare her to go to school was I sent her to ballet class. So I wanted her to get used to being in an environment with other kids without me and having to follow directions and listen to a teacher. And that was a really difficult process because she wasn't used to being away from me and she cried a lot. And it was kind of a nightmare, but she did it. And then when she started preschool, um, she was kind of ready and she was so brave. We had this um, practice day and an admission ceremony where she went, um, got dressed up in her uniform and sat with all of her classmates and they had a little ceremony and um, she had to be separated with from me during that time but she was like so brave about it. And then when it came time for school to start a couple of months later, um, she just went and she was excited to go she was happy and she waved by to me and she had a big smile on her face and she was so excited to start um, so that was a little bit heartbreaking but also I was so proud of her and I was so happy that she was going someplace where she felt comfortable and just really excited to go every day that was actually my first time using some of those peanut stickers and I really like how this came out. On the other hand, my younger daughter, Valentina, has a very different personality and before she went to kindergarten, I didn't prepare her by taking her to another class. But every time she went to school, she would cry and she would say, mommy, I don't want to go to school. And she would be so sad. I mean, on the first day, she went with a happy face. And this is how it always is. Like, the first time they go to a new lesson or experience, they'll be happy. And then the next day, they'll realize, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be separated from my mom. And then the tears will start. And then they will continue after that. And how long? do most kids cry for? I don't know, but um, my daughter Valentina cried for about two months every day because she didn't want to go to school. And the funny thing is, she had her sister there, so the, the preschool teachers were so nice, they would let Valentina go into her sister's class when she felt scared, and so she had like an extra crutch there, but she still cried every single day. And I don't think it's because the school was bad. I actually thought that the Korean teachers were much more caring and they were 
like a lot more invested in my kids than the teachers at the Japanese school were, or at least Sienna's teacher. And so I don't think it was that. I think it was just the different personalities of my kids. And then Valentina's school moved locations in the middle of the school year, so they moved to a brand new building. And so that started the whole process of going to a new school over again. So she didn't want to go to the new school building because it was different and it was scary. And so she started to cry like every single day before school. But, you know, um, the teachers would send us pictures. By the time that she got to school, she was fine. And then that same year that Valentina started school, Sienna started preschool at a brand new school. So I guess a couple of months after Valentina got used to being at school, it was time for her sister to start kindergarten at the big kids school. So they were separated. And this is a picture from when Sienna started kindergarten for the first time. By the way, I just loved the design on the little Inku Crate pamphlet for this year and I thought it would be perfect as a backdrop for this. It kind of reminds me of a moleskin notebook and it has different stickers that represent some of the items that came in the box. Like I think that peach tote bag is, um, a, different, is a different option that you could have gotten instead of the Shiba Inu tote bag with the lemons. So this is the year that Valentina started at a new preschool and this is going to be a Gudetama theme because I don't know why but for some reason Gudetama kind of reminds me of um, my daughter Valentina. I absolutely loved the uniform that Valentina wore to the school. There were so many different versions like a winter and a summer version but the style that they picked was so cute that that skirt that she's wearing had a little butterfly charm with rhinestones on it hanging from the waist and it was really adorable i don't know if it's because she's the baby but when she started at this other preschool, we went through the same process. I thought she would be a little more accustomed to going to school because she'd already gone to preschool for a year, but um, that was a Japanese speaking preschool in Korea. And then we started her at a Korean preschool and she cried every single day for, for about two months again. So I think that's just her thing and you know, when she got to school, she was okay. She, she made friends and she was happy and her teacher said that she was fine. I don't know if she was just putting on a show for me, but um, yeah, that, that's just her personality. So this blue pen is actually something that I got in an ink crate and it's a dual tip marker. I don't know why, but I really like the medium point a lot better than the fine tip point for writing. And then that same year, Sienna started first grade, and um, she, she was at a different school than her sister. So you guys are getting a little preview of something that I'm going to haul in one of my future Sanrio videos, and that's the little Pochaku stationery set. So if you watched all the way to the 18 minute mark, almost 19 minutes, then you're getting a sneak peek. So this year my girls are going to be in third grade and kindergarten and it's like kind of mind-blowing and also really heartbreaking at the same time. Um, my daughter Sienna is going to be in the last grade of the lower grades in elementary school. Next year she's going to be a fourth grader which is an upper grader which to me just seems so big. And then my baby Valentina is starting kindergarten. She's going to be in elementary school, no longer a preschooler. It seems like it came so fast because last year was kind of a loss. Um, both of them, well, it wasn't loss. It was such a gain for me to have them at home with me. But, um, and such a blessing really in disguise um, because we got to spend a lot more time together and I loved having them around. Um, but it feels like, kind of feels like Sienna just went from first grade to third grade because she didn't go to school in person last year, so it goes by so quickly in the blink of an eye.
So it looks like I actually missed a year. I think I didn't print out the photos from 2017, so I'm gonna have to go back and do that year. I really love this month's Ingu Crate box. I did have to share some of these items with my kids, but I did end up with the campus notebook and the flake stickers and the washi tape, and then my kids got the other items. But yeah, highly recommend this box. It's so fun to get this every month. And I want to give a big thank you and shout out to all of my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.